It is August the 19th and I'm on the Stanley Glacier Trail. It's 4.2 kilometers one way and a 365 meter elevation gain. When I stopped and asked the ranger what trails I should hike in this park, this came highly recommended. So I believe it. So far it is amazing already. Apparently there's a grizzly on the trail somewhere. There's signs warning us, but there's so many people on this trail that I'm not too worried. <laughs> Hopefully they've all scared him away. I am currently reading through the Gospel of John and I just finished chapter 17 where just before Jesus is to be crucified, he is praying for himself and his disciples and then everyone else. And something really struck me reading that passage. First, I want to say that the, it seems that the purpose of Jesus, one of his main goals, was to um, show people who the Father was. So in John 17, 6, he says, I have manifested your name to the men you have given me. And that struck me that Jesus is God and he had a name that was so sacred and holy that the Jews wouldn't even pronounce it. They would just breathe it. And it was Yahweh. And here, God Almighty came to this earth and took on a human name, a very common human name. That just humbles me so much and makes me just wonder at who God really is. This majestic being taking on a human name. In the Old Testament, Jesus is the I am. And all through John, he is portrayed as the I am. I thought that's pretty neat. I am the vine. I am the door. I am the resurrection. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the bread. I am the lamb. I am the good shepherd. How neat is that? He gave us a glimpse of his godly glory, but yet being common and um, uh, approachable with men. Oh, it's just amazing. But what is really sad for me is when I hear people take God's name or Jesus' name in vain. That's just piercing. Oh man, this is the highlight of my day. Wow. And to think I almost didn't want to come. I was so tired after driving for four hours. <laughs> Whoa, God is good. You get rejuvenated in the mountains for sure. It took me an hour and three quarters to get here. So I'm figuring I did pretty good. And I even went past the sign where the said that the trail end. This weekend, I went and visited my father and brother. I haven't seen my dad in over a year, so I figured it was about time and had a really nice visit with them. You know, they don't make national parks national parks for no good reason. This is amazing. I think I just had a guy hit on me, I'm not sure. He said he was looking for a partner to go to Cold Lake with. And I said, well, I don't know anybody that's going to Cold Lake. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, thankfully, he left me alone. 
There's a lot of um, international people that hike this trail. I think that's so cool. I felt bad for one Frenchman though. Oh, poor guy. He goes, did you hear that noise? I think there's a baby bear in the bushes. And I said, no, I didn't hear a noise. And, but he wouldn't go further. His wife went on ahead, he said, but he was scared. Poor guy, and he was even carrying bear spray. <laughs> You know, it doesn't matter which direction you're going, it's spectacular both ways, coming and going. So the Healing Hiker rating for this trail is a 5 out of 5. And that is the first time I have ever given a trail 100%. Wow, it comes highly recommended. It is a very popular trail. But that doesn't um, discourage me too much. You do get times of solitude. It's not obnoxiously populated and it's kind of interesting and fun meeting the people. And there's lots of water on the trail and it's not terribly steep. Like the first part is steep and the last part is steep, but there's some nice um, level stuff in the middle. <laughs> and it is a nice length and not one inch of the trail is ugly or boring. Every step of the way is absolutely spectacular. So yes, if you are ever in Kootenai National Park, you must come on this trail. So tell me what part of the Bible you are reading through right now and tell me what it means to you. I would love to hear what everybody is reading and, and going through. I couldn't be ending the day more happy. Just, I am so filled with joy. I just love hiking. Oh, if only I could do this as a career. Until my next epic adventure, assalamu alaikum, shalom, peace. Beginning.